Hot days of summer, the monthly utility bill of an air conditioned home can bring more perspiration than the temperature does. But can we cut the cord and cool our homes without electricity or water? Ashwath Raman and his colleagues at Stanford University has created an experimental material which can send excess heat to the outer space. No fans, compressor or refrigerant needed. Raman's device employs is called radiative cooling. The same method by which earth loses its heat to the outer space. The method takes advantage of the fact that the earth's atmosphere is transparent to a very specific subset of wavelength from 8 to 13 microns. A device that could take the heat and light from the atmosphere and reflects back in that particular range of frequency. It is already demonstrated that, uh, that the, the radiative cooling devices can work in night but, that, but, but that's the, the off-peak hours. But Raman's device can work in daylight where the consumption is at its peak. Raman's device is constructed with uh, seven alternative layers of silicon dioxide and hafnium oxide pasted on a reflective base layer of silver. Each of the layer is a different precise thickness between 13 to 688 nanometers. The precise thickness and layering allows the material to reflect 97% of the heat infrared light in atmosphere's transparency frequency. Raman tested an experimental device on a rooftop in Stanford, California and the device worked. Throughout the entire day, the radiative cooler kept the temperature 9 degrees Fahrenheit below the atmospheric temperature. Though it's the modest temperature drop but it did not require any energy. The Stanford team published their work in last week in General Nature. Raman's experimental device was not bigger than the bin bag toss board. The process would have to be scaled up to work on the building. And since hafnium and silver are very expensive, would they probably need some alternative material to be placed on the rooftop with a clear sky view. So it won't replace the air conditioning altogether. And people living in places with uh, more oppressive heat will want a uh, little more relief than just 9 degrees Fahrenheit. But regardless of these limitations, Raman and his team have showed us that it's certainly possible to cut the cord and cool our homes without electricity or water. Which is a good news for a planet with the unlimited energy resources.